and uh, courtesy of the uh, Russian Federal Space Agency, uh, replays of the descent of the Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft under its large main chute. This uh, obviously shot from one of the search and recovery helicopters in proximity to the Soyuz spacecraft as it descended uh, to its landing site to the southeast of the town of Jezkazgan. Once again, a replay of uh, video of the uh, descent of the Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft uh, that brought Terry Wirtz, Samantha Christopheretti, and Anton Gaplarov home to an on-time landing at 8.44 a.m. Central Time. Just about 43 minutes ago, uh, the crew was quickly extracted uh, from the spacecraft, the descent module that landed upright, and there you see the soft landing engines firing just a second or two before touchdown. Spectacular view from a video shot from one of the search and recovery helicopters uh, in the vicinity of the landing zone. Everything went by the book uh, with the landing itself uh, from the time of hatch closure uh, just after 2 a.m. Central Time this morning where the uh, departing crew, Verts, Christopher Eddy, and Shkaplerov uh, bid a farewell to the new Expedition 44 crew of Gennady Padalka. Uh, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko, who remain on board the International Space Station uh, as a three-man crew for the next six weeks until they are augmented back to a six-man uh, crew by the next trio to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in late July, that being uh, Alek Kononenko, NASA's Chell Lindgren, and uh, Japanese astronaut Kimia Yui. The undocking of uh, the Soyuz uh, spacecraft from the Rosviet module of the International Space Station occurred on time at 5.20 a.m. Central Time. The uh, Soyuz uh, conducted a pair of separation burns to begin an opening rate that uh, sent it uh, to a distance of about 12 kilometers away from the International Space Station for the uh, engine firing, the braking maneuver, the deorbit burn that took place at 7.51 a.m. Central Time allowing the Soyuz to drop out of orbit for its descent back into the Earth's atmosphere. And as mentioned, uh, landing occurring right on time and right on the money at 8.44 a.m. Central Time, 7.44 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. That was about an hour and 34 minutes before sunset, and you can see that the sun is beginning to, to descend uh, for uh, sunset on the horizon as uh, the crew is now in the medical tent, uh, all hale and hearty, and uh, preparing uh, for medical tests to get out of their launch and entry suits and to board helicopters for a nighttime ride back uh, to the staging city in Karaganda. Meanwhile, there at the landing site, a good view of the uh, descent module that brought home the three crew members, the Expedition 43 crew. Uh, there are uh, technical experts and uh, members of RSC Energia who are extracting uh, some of the cargo from uh, the spacecraft for immediate return uh, back to Moscow. They're also inspecting uh, the uh, spacecraft, uh, documenting its condition uh, following uh, its uh, return to Earth. This uh, is a replay of video uh, that was shot just after touchdown. Uh, you can see uh, the crew members still inside uh, the spacecraft. This is prior to the time that they were extracted. 